Good day, great to meet you guys again. Today I will briefly explain on what is consensus, what if BFT Byzantine fault tolerance and ABFT a synchronized Byzantine fault tolerance. After watching this video, you will understand the basic meaning of BFT and what ABFT means. Today, more and more blockchains are being created with various new offerings they seek to provide. A consensus main purpose is to achieve agreement on agreed transaction among a distributed system which are on the blockchain. As we all know, a common danger we often hear of decentralization highlights a hypothetical scenario of the 51% attack on a blockchain. In this scenario, a group of miners that controls more than 50% of the network will be able to prevent other transactions from occurring and allow their own coins to be spent multiple times. This is a process called double spending. So, let's begin by understanding what is a consensus. A consensus mechanism is a fault-tolerant mechanism that is used in computer and blockchain system to achieve the necessary agreement on a single data value or single state of the network among distributed process or multi-agent systems, such as with cryptocurrencies. Or simply put, consensus is defined as a general agreement of a state that the blockchain is in. That means, if Alice sent $100 worth of Bitcoin to Bob, Alice will lose $100 worth of Bitcoin from her wallet and Bob will gain $100 worth of Bitcoin in his wallet. The catch is that every green transaction has to be recorded on the Bitcoin public ledger. And a consensus algorithm ensures no malicious transaction, no changes can be made on the blockchain itself. This example brings us to the purpose of having a consensus mechanism in a decentralized blockchain ecosystem. A solution to the Byzantine general problem is essential. The term Byzantine fault tolerance is derived from a hypothetical scenario called the Byzantine general's problem. The Byzantine general's problem was published in 1982 by Lampard, Shostad, and Pease. This hypothetical scenario was developed to describe a situation in which in order to avoid failure of a distributed system, the system actors must agree on a concerted strategy, but some of these actors are unreliable. It used a planned attack on an enemy city by four Byzantine generals. These generals and their armies are each occupying a different side of the city and so are totally separated from each other making direct coordinated communication impossible. In order to plan the attack or retreat, they must use their own messenger to handle communication and so they each send their messenger to share their plan with each other. But there are a serious flaw in this approach. There are questions about the trustworthiness of the message shared, such as, what if any of the messengers are captured and replaced with enemy messengers? who share intentionally false information? What if one or even two of the generals themselves is actually a traitor and send a messenger with information mean to misinform? What if one of the messengers themselves are traitors and intentionally shares false information? You quickly begin to see that there's a trust issue here, that it is impossible to ignore the way these Byzantine generals are trying to come to a consensus on whether to attack or retreat from the city they are surrounding. And by having a solution to this problem of trust, known as Byzantine fault tolerance, you can trust that a network is going to act fairly. How does Byzantine fault tolerance BFT apply to decentralized networks? All decentralized networks, distributed ledgers such as A blockchain, have independent nodes that act like a Byzantine generals in the hypothetical situation above. These nodes must come to an agreement or consensus on things like transactions submitted to the network, the ordering of those transactions, and the state of the network itself. These network nodes are likely separated from each other geographically, virtually, architecturally, and sometimes even ethically. So, not only do nodes need to be able to communicate in order to achieve their end goal of consensus, but they also need to account for some nodes being malicious. Trust is a key issue here, as some nodes may be acting dishonestly on the network. 
they may be taken over by hackers or be intentionally sending incorrect information. Communication between what can sometimes be thousands of nodes makes coming to a consensus or agreement on a decision very challenging. In a decentralized network, there is a massive value in knowing that the timing and order of transaction taking place on the network have been reached by consensus and that every transaction is recorded, verified, and shared by participating nodes, even if some of those nodes are not trustworthy, or may even be trying to be negatively affect consensus. In a decentralized network, this entire process has the additional benefit of having a mathematically guarantee of consensus, or that the same decision is reached by honestly participating nodes. This ability for the nodes in a decentralized network to come to the correct agreement on transaction without needing to trust each other as skill is what truly set distributed ledger technology apart. So next, we will talk about what is ABFT, a synchronized Byzantine fault tolerance. When a decentralized network is Byzantine fault tolerant, it means that the honest member or nodes of a network can be guaranteed to agree on the timing and order of a set of transactions, regardless as to whether there are some nodes maliciously trying to prevent that consensus. Even if as many as one third of nodes are trying to be negatively affect consensus by delaying transactions or otherwise corrupting things, this is a fault tolerance of the network, meaning how many nodes can be network tolerant acting maliciously but still come to an honest consensus. The asynchronized property of Byzantine fault tolerance overcomes the challenge of fault tolerance, which is that of timing. Many forms of Byzantine fault tolerance assume there is a maximum threshold of message latency when coming to a consensus. An ABFT network eliminates this assumption and allows for some message to be lost or indefinitely delayed. An ABFT network allows for message to be lost or indefinitely delayed and assumes only that at some point an honest node message will eventually get through. It is much more challenging for an honest node to assess whether another node is not following the rules. If that node's message can be intermittently delayed, but this scenario much better reflects that network reliability in the real world. I have shared with you guys about what is consensus, BFT, and ABFT. Do hope you guys will have a better understanding on ABFT after this video, and I will proceed to share POUC, another consensus algorithm of BitCherry, in my next video. Thank you for your time and hope this video might help you gain better understanding in BitCherry's consensus algorithm. Thank you and see you guys in the next video.